This module uh, topic is this instant user operation and stuff. The, uh, the concept uh, or the objective is uh, seismic and user basis and the accelerometer specific and velocity uh, specifics and the performance verification and the installation guidelines. This is a key point for the project team, the installation guidelines and for the seismic and accelerometer specifications and the velocity specification for everybody but special from the design part the installation guidelines and for the installation the field team must be taken into account the serometer a serometer is a piezoelectric sensor and the output is proportional to acceleration of the uh, vibration this uh, requires an external power supply we had two designs, the very old, that require external amplifier, and the new one in includes internal amplifier. The velocity sensor could be two, two times, the moving coil and the uh, velometer. The velometer is a piezoelectric with an integrating circuit. The good uh, thing for the moving coil is self-powered, don't require as a external power supply. The piezoelectric requires a power source. From the aspect of the frequency, the accelerometer have the highest frequency of up to 20 kilohertz and the minimum is around 10 hertz. The piezoelectricity is the lower high frequency range is around 5000 and the minimum is uh, 10. And for the moving coil is had more limited the frequency is until 1000 hertz and the starting depends on the design from 10 hertz or even for lower frequency first is next to the need to the to define the sensitive axis every transducer have a sensitive axis in the case of they convert the vibration into electrical signal this electrical signal must be proportional to the vibration in this case 50 gigs peak is equals to 5 volts peak to peak and now the uh, transducer sensitivity is the output signal divided by the vibration in this case is 5 volts peak to peak divided uh, 50 gigs or 100 millivolts per G is the is the scale factor for this serometer. This is written in the uh, in the in the in the label for the transducer. Now from the basics, we had this signal. This is the complex signal from the serometer and this corresponds to a uh, electrical signal the maximum in this case is 20 20 millivolts to minus 20 and then the software or on the monitor convert this electrical signal into vibration data using the scale factor here dividing by 100 millivolts per uh, per g 20 millivolts correspond to 0.2 g's minus 20 millivolts correspond minus 0.2 g's and now this plot represents digitally the vibration captured by the transducer in this case is 13 millivolts is equals to 0.13 g's for the application you can see the serometer installed in the gearbox and the cable and the cable have a, a protector here you see in the in this injection valve you had a, a a protection to avoid the uh, water entering to the pipes there are two different designs the old design is the compression type and the new design is the chirp type in both cases we had a mass in the in the previous use using a preloaded screw 
and this is the element, the element in the piezoelectric crystal, and this is the case, and this is the HR amplifier. Here is the element, it's around this, uh, this uh, chaff, and this is the mass, and this is the preload band. What is the advantage of the cheer tie? The cheer tie is less susceptible to uh, effect of high temperature because high temperature delays the casing. And when delay the casing, change the uh, preload force in the 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 the, the shear tie is less susceptible to temperature or any deformation in the case. And both have the sensitive axis. Here is the typical response from a serometer to uh, review the information, go to the manual, 330400 is the accelerometer, the part number, and you can see starting at 10 Hz and the maximum is around 20 kilohertz. All the tests are made at 100 Hz, it's uh, by a specification. This is uh, specified in the uh, transducer data sheet. The accelerometer has three wires, uh, white, red, and black. Remember, red is power, what is signal common, and the, uh, and the blood is common. And you can connect it here to, the, the, to, to the test using a power supply. You need to provide power, and then using this uh, um, white and black, to uh, check the signal and provide the power between the terminals red and black. It could be negative minus 24, uh, must be, excuse me, must be minus 24 volts. This is the interconnectable, this is a mil C cable. You have the three pins and this part number is 169 to five AXX. XX is expressed in, in, in feet. The maximum length is 99, it's almost 100 feet uh, or 50 meter is the maximum distance. And the, the minimum is two feet, 0.6 uh, centimeter. This cable is a special uh, PVC cable or can be ordered armored. With these three terminals, these three terminals are connected in the in a junction box and then continue to the monitor. The velocity, there are two different designs. The moving coil, you had a magnet and you had a coil. The coil is mounted on springs and when machine vibrates, these have relative motion between the magnet and the moving coil and induce electromagnetic force. It's the electromagnetic force is called voltage, and the voltage is proportional to the uh, velocity of vibration. The velometer is the trademark from Mel Nirvana. It's uh, also similar to a serometer because it's a piezoelectric crystal in the uh, preload band using the cheer type design, and then have a charge amplifier and integrating circuit. And this is isolated from the case. Now the typical response, this is the part number for a uh, velometer, 330500. The typical response is starting at 10 Hz and the maximum is around 5,000 Hz. And all the testing are specified as 100 Hz. This is specified into the uh, data sheet. For the velometer, velometer uh, don't, uh, only had two wires. One is pin A is white conductor and pin B is a uh, black conductor. Remember, B in the monitor means black for the for this case, the, the design of Bell in Nevada. You can provide the in, when do the test a power supply, but you need to provide also a constant current diode. The constant current diode is around three milliamps 
to limit the, the current in this circuit. If you don't put this, you can damage your transducer. The monitor provides this constant current diode and to limit the current here. And when you provide, activate the circuit and with the same cable, return the signal. Also, you have the interconnect cable. There are different two designs, armored and unarmored. This is also MIL-C, but two terminals. And the specify is IXX. The maximum length is 99 feet. The minimum length is two feet. It's around 30 meters is the maximum. For testing, we need a special uh, device, the portable shaker. The shaker is a calibrated vibration system and the user can select the amplitude and the frequency of the vibration and set up the proper units, English and metric units and the, uh, and the type of, or, of vibration, displacement, acceleration or velocity. This is a, a equipment used on field to check the, the verification. This shaker table must be calibrated for field engineers to do the test. And you can set up using an oscilloscope to, to see the, the, the waveform. In this case, we had a power supply, external power supply, bonded into the shaker and then sent to the oscilloscope and to see the output based on, on this uh, in the in the checker checker the checker uh, simulates one amplitude and you can see in oscilloscopes or for most understanding using the doing the loop check connect to the monitor and the monitor is connected to system one you can see this waveform in system one For the testing from the velometer using external power supply, don't forget the 3 milliamps constant current diode to protect the transducer circuit. It's mandatory to do that. If you are using the monitor, you don't need the constant current diode because it's included into the monitor. The priority test is uh, you can gently you can gently you need to energize the power if you can gently tap the button and you can see the output in this case is positive peak that means this the direction the positive direction is from bottom to top some sensor especially the uh, cell power or the sismo proof have a transducer orientation. Some transducers are mounted in 180 degrees. That means it's from the bottom of the machine. And the testing using the, now this, the, the name of this company, now this model shop, you can mount on the shaker table, connect the transducer, shake the transducer at 100 Hertz because it's the, uh, uh, specify on the uh, data sheet and verify the scale factor is within 5% of the specific limits. Okay, ensure that your shaker table is calibrated. The installation guideline from the uh, any case mount transducer is the positioning, the mounting, the adapters, boots, housing, power signal, uh, the transducer position depends on the ISO, the ISO 10816-3 is the standard to, to, how to install case monitoring the user in different machines. This is the recommendation from vertical machine, this is the recommendation from horizontal machine, this is the true vertical, true horizontal and the axial. This is a vertical machine, you need to install X, Y and axial, this depends. Okay, please refer to the ISO standard 
before to select the, the, the installation. There are some, some additional literature in, in our uh, ASA Architecture Solution uh, Super Central uh, community. Then ensure the ambient conditions are acceptable, depends on the temperature, humidity, uh, the uh, hazardous material from the sensor, the mountain surfaces prepared, the lantern mounting hole, apply a coupling, acoustic coupling, tighten transducer to a specific door. This is a key point for.